The wisdom that peruses every activity of God. The wisdom that gives God his feedback. The wisdom that delights the heart of the Father. It is this wisdom I'm presenting. We understand how the words are chosen. Why? Because we are doers of the word. We are masters of the word. We are poets of the word. I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court, but you will come into the place of the very presence of God. But by reason of Christ who has opened the way, we have free access to God and we are not afraid. Therefore, he said, come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need. And most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something, taking something, we have never got to the place where we understand that prayer is work. When we pray, we work. When we pray, we cre- when we pray, we form. When we create, we make things happen. And you know what? In the secrecy of this work, God rewards you openly. Now, get set for the good word of God with Pastor Obed. of it always a blessing you see yes so now if everything pieces together and you understand the vision it's not just a matter of just saying there is spiritual marriage people are going through spiritual marriage and then we give them direction so that they will be free hmm. you are only scratching the yes, surface yes. and not going to the roots yes. of the problem precisely the moment you understand the whole ideology and concept of what god is doing and what satan is trying to interfere in then you can stand in a position one to help man two to help god yes and there are reasons why i said to help god somebody says no 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 no. god doesn't need help Mm. what is fellowship it is your contribution Mm. when you fellowship the word is koinonia Mm. so if you have Mm. a fellowship with god i'm talking about our contribution to the dream of god all right you see god could save the whole world but he's left the work of we preaching the good news of salvation mm. to all creature. Okay. He could have just at the snap of a finger decided all creature be saved. That's true. Because he's powerful. But he wants us to have fellowship mm. with him. And the whole ideology of fellowship is actually a nuptial way. Okay. It is actually um a fellowship has to do with an intercourse. Okay. That is the way. Yes. So when you're having fellowship, you're having an intercourse with whoever you're having that fellowship okay. with. Uh-huh. Now, from that perspective, let's understand that right in Genesis chapter 6, the devil nearly, I mean nearly, won. The devil undertook a strategy and God withdrew from man. The devil gave such a blow to the creation and God withdrew from man. And hear what he said in Genesis chapter 6. The Bible says, after the sons of God had seen the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took for themselves whichever of them that they chose. The next verse, the Bible said, ah, it repented of God that he had made man god repented that he had made man and god said my spirit shall not strive with man again for he also is flesh god came to a place of regret god came to a place of regret for making man for making man man who was supposed to be his glory to be his glory god regretted listen you are not the first person if you are watching me in tv world to regret in any marriage Hmm. Let's take that one again. I am saying that if you are in any marital situation and you feel it's a mistake, you are not the first person. 
Genesis 6 verse 3, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always Let's start so that men understand what brought about this whole matter okay. from verse 1. Verse 1, and it came to pass. It came to pass. When men began to multiply on the face of the earth. When men began to multiply on the face of the earth. And daughters were born unto them. Daughters were now born unto them. That the sons of God. The sons of God. Saw that the daughters of men. They saw that the daughters of men were fair. They were beautiful. And they took them wives. Then they took them wives. Remember that God's original agenda was not that the sons of God being angels would take these ones as wives. Hmm. God wanted these men as his wife. And here comes the devil, gets these men to fall and sends out his sons to go and take them wives. And what happened? The Bible says, in the verse 2, please don't go too fast. In the verse 2, he said, And they took them, wives of all which they chose. Of, the, of all which they that chose. That means that these angelic beings, yes, came the sons into, of God, they came into the midst of men. They came into the midst of men. And without discrimination, they chose wives, not their wife, wives. They married as many and as much as they wanted. Hmm. So now, just think about it this way. This is God. He's created man as his glory. Hmm. And the devil comes in hmm. out of jealousy because he was not the chosen one yes. and provokes man to a fall. The man falls and the devil now sends his sons to go in there and these were not godly beings these were sons of god under the control of the devil hmm. sons of god who had such a thought the same as the engineering of satan and they came in and took wives the moment they did that see what the bible says no, man of god it's, 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 it's emphatic yes. that of all the things Satan could have done with man, yes, and of all the things the angels could have done, I mean, they could have turned the men into engineers, do anything, use the men to build cities. But scripture is categorical, Claire, they went in for wives, for wives, yes. And look at verse 3, verse 3. And the Lord said, The Lord said, My spirit, shall, God is spirit, my spirit shall not always strive with man, shall not always strive. When you read it in the NIV, it says, Shall not dwell. So God left. Hmm. Read NIV. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with humans forever. My spirit will not contend with humans forever. For they are mortal. They are mortal. They are flesh. Their days will be. Okay. Then it affected. Okay. So that means that prior to this, there was no legislation on the length of days of man. Man was supposed to live for a long while, even after the fall. How, how, how old was Methuselah? 969. Just imagine. Adam went over nine, Adam he went, to went overboard. And now there was a cup that had been placed. 120, 120 years. 120 years. Because of the matter of marriage. Because of the matter of marriage. <laughs> God said, I've reduced your age. Because God couldn't sit down there bearing that another is having a nuptial enjoyment for as long as. So God said, now die. Die early. We'll later on come to talk about till death do us part. All of these things. I don't have that um, leeway now to go into the issues of marriage. So God left. Mercy. He said, my spirit will not dwell with man again. He also is flesh. He's not spirit. Because now, God wanted to live with a spirit being but, now, uh, but he also is flesh. He can't relate to spirit because God is spirit. Precisely. And they that worship or have fellowship, fellowship with, with him, him must fellowship with him in, in spirit, spirit, not in flesh, and in truth. Because God is spirit. So he said, my spirit will not dwell with man again. My spirit will not strive with man again. For he also is flesh. I'm gone. His days mm. shall be 120. Mm, verse 
verse 4. Yes. He says that there were giants in the earth would come in to those that days one. and also after that. Yes. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men mm -hmm. and they bare children to them. They bare children and to the them. And the same became mighty men which were of old. Men of renown. Men of renown. Yes. Verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was mm. great in the earth mm. and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was what? Was evil continually. And it. And it repented the Lord. And it repented Painted the Lord that He had made man on the earth. That He had. Let me share this. Let me just. <laughs> God, let, me God share this. let me just share this. God. God actually went through a broken heart. <laughs> now, it did not repent God that He had made man. This is a whole apologia. Talk to me, man. The Bible doesn't say that it repented God that He had made man. Yes. God regretted that He located man on earth. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Are you getting that? Yes. Read it again carefully. The word of God says that, and it repented, and it the, repented Lord the Lord that he had, that made, he had made man on the, earth. on the earth. That was what God repented about because of his body. Mm. This is flesh. You see, mm. and this flesh has desires, three principal desires. Mm. This flesh has a weakness. The weakness of the flesh lies in the lust of the flesh, mm. the lust of the eyes, mm. and the pride of life. Mercy. So now, this is the weakness of the flesh, mm. and that is what we all must pass as a test of our works. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was tempted in all points, yet without sin. What were the points? Three points. Mm. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Mercy. So now, if God had not located man on earth, that is, had used the earth to form man and had used another substance okay. which didn't carry the lust and the weakness of the flesh, man would not have fallen. Because when the devil came in, the devil sold an ideology okay. and he bought into his weakness. Hmm. The Bible said, and when the woman saw that the fruit of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil was good for food, okay. pleasant to the eyes, mm. and able to make one wise. The three points. Yes. Good for food. Mm -hmm. Towards the flesh. Pleasant to the eyes. Yes. Lust and the able eye. to make one wise. Mm. Pride, Pride of, of life. life. He now sold into the idea. Mm. So you see, it was because of the fabric and the house that man was put in. There is so much to say on this matter of marriage. God repented. God repented. And man of God, the word of God says, it grieved God to it the heart. It grieved God to the heart. He had broken heart. For the marriage he had. For what he intended <laughs> to get. God had found the most beautiful thing in all the universe. Hmm. God was, listen, the Bible says the sons of God, they saw that the daughters of men were fair, beautiful, extremely beautiful. We are one of the most beautiful things in the universe. I don't want to say we are the most because of what lies ahead, mm. because of the glories ahead, mm. but we are carriers of the most beautiful thing in the world, in all of God's universe. There is none as beautiful as man. No, not one. We move God's passions. We are the ones that are able to bring such joy to the Lord. Hmm. It is so cardinal that if one sinner on earth gets saved, the whole of heaven is moved to rejoice. The angels go into ecstasy over one sinner that repents. Hmm. That tells you our price. We'll look at that later in the bride price. Hmm. And all of these things are so cardinal to understand. And the devil was on the path of success to provoke God to jealousy. Pastor Obed, always a blessing.
Beloved of God, your heavenly Father loves you and desires that you walk in the light and the knowledge of his word. He also desires that you grow in the full stature of his Son Jesus Christ and walk in the victorious life. We would like to introduce to you Pastor Obed's latest book on conquering marine spirits. Pastor Obed in this unique book unveils to you hidden truths about water spirits and the element of water, the formation of bodies in water. You will also understand what it means to be under the bondage of spiritual marriages and how to handle them with the Word of God. Also contained in this explosive piece are 120 prayer bullets that aid the believer to pray impactfully against the oppression of marine spirits. To order for your copy of this book, call us on plus 233-322-041-035. You could also visit us at ChristCosmopolitan.org.